Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Conch Wan 27,000 milliamp hour solar charger power bank. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. Here we have a manual. So this has a fold out solar panel. It's 12 watts. This has three USB ports. It has USB-C input and output, and then two USB-A out. It has a built-in flashlight. Here are the specs. So output max is five volts at three amps. Input max is also five volts at three amps. So to use the flashlight, you press and hold the power button for three seconds. It has three different modes. It has standard, SOS, and strobe, and you press the button to change between those. So this can be charged with USB or it can be charged with solar. So something to point out is that solar charging tends to be relatively slow. So the way to use this, if you're going on a weekend camping trip, for instance, you would charge this up before you leave. And then throughout the weekend, you would say, leave this out on a picnic table in the sun with the solar panel deployed, and you would use the sun to replenish the charge that you may have used from charging your phone and such. What you wouldn't want to do is take an empty battery pack out and then deploy the solar panel and expect it to charge up in like 10 minutes. That's not really how it works. It could take all day to replenish that charge. But having the solar panels on the power bank will increase the amount you can charge your devices. And this talks about charging your devices. Here's some FAQs, warnings. Okay, I'll pull this out. So there's the power bank. So this also comes with a little lanyard with a carabiner clip, and it comes with a USB-A to USB-C charge cable. So this has a faux leather cover on it. Here's that light. We have a snap on the side, power button, and the ports are behind here. So you can see the USB-C is in the middle, USB-A is on the perimeter. So let's try plugging this in. So I have my USB charger here. Plug in. So here we're currently charging at 5.2 volts at 2.70 amps. Now the rate of charge will depend upon the state of charge of the battery. So it's currently charging at around 14 watts. So let's open this up. And here we have the solar panel. So by having solar panels in the cover, as opposed to just on the battery itself, you have four times as many solar panels. So it will give you four times faster charging than if you just had this single solar panel. So let's try charging some devices with this. Here I have an iPhone, plug into it. I'll plug that into the USB-A. Now that's charging. Here I have a Nexus 7 tablet. I'll plug into it with micro USB and I'll plug USB-A into the charger here. And finally, I have my 360 camera. I'll plug into it with USB-C and I'll plug USB-C into this middle port here because that middle port is input and output. It's kind of hard to see the light, but now that's charging. So here I have all three devices charging at the same time. So since this is 27,000 milliamp hours, you're gonna get lots of charges out of this. So I'll take this out and I'll film a little clip of this charging with the sun. Okay, so now I have this out in the sun. To get the most optimum charging, you want to have it facing directly at the sun. So right now the sun is kind of behind me. So actually if I tilt this up just a tiny bit, it will be a little more optimum. And you can tell if it's solar charging if this green light is lit. So it's flashing in the camera, but in person it looks solid. So that's how you can tell it's solar charging. And you can also see these other indicators showing that it's charging the battery. So this also has that light on the back, so we can hold down the power button and that light will turn on. And here we can see it, I can press it again. And we have that strobe mode. And then we have the flicker mode. So if you're hiking, it gets late at night and you have an emergency, you could turn that flicker mode on and people would be able to find you. Now, oftentimes power banks will have flashlights on them and I don't find they're the absolute best flashlights, but sometimes the best flashlight is the flashlight you have with you. So if you're trying to search for someone in the woods with this, you know, that's not super bright, but this would work perfect in a tent. You could turn it on to that level. A lot of times tents will have a little lofts up high. You could set that in the loft and it would light up your tent so you could say, get ready for bed. Or maybe you could find something in your suitcase in a hotel room with that light. So that's the Conks Wan 27,000 milliamp hour solar charger power bank. I think this is a great option if you're going for extended stays or maybe you're going somewhere with the family and you want to charge everyone's devices. This has a lot of power so it can handle that. I like that this has that solar on it so you can help maintain the charge of the battery and you can attach that lanyard here too on the end so you can even hang this off your backpack so you could charge say if you're hiking during the day. And when this folds up it's pretty compact. You could potentially put that in a purse, depends on how much weight you like to carry, but this would easily fit in a backpack or suitcase. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.